I'm Luann Hammond, DrivingTheNation.com. I'm here with Bobby Rahal, the CEO of RLL LLC. What do you tell some of the guys as they're coming up and they're young guys that are in there? You know, I think uh, I think success in racing is a, a very tough ladder. You know, that's not uh, like baseball or tennis or skiing or other sports, uh, football. Or, you know, where it's how much does a football cost or how much does a baseball bat cost or a set of golf clubs. But you know, when you climb up the ladder in, in racing, how much does a car cost or the next car? So the, they really have to be much more aware of the marketing aspects and how to sell themselves. You know, yes, you got to perform on the track, but you, and, and drivers these days have to. You know, so much of their time is probably more of their time is dedicated to uh, working on behalf of their sponsor than it is actually sitting in the race car. Got to have a balance. Got to have a balance. Speaking of balance, you have that that business called RLL. Right. What is RLL? Well, it's Ray Hall, Letterman, Lanigan, uh, which obviously. You know, my name, Letterman, is David Letterman, uh, who's been my partner since 1996. So, going on for 20 years now. And then um, uh, uh, a fellow named Mike Lanigan uh, from Chicago joined us about four years ago. How did you get David Letterman involved in well, LL? I didn't know that he, uh, first off, I didn't know he was a fan of racing, but then when I found out he grew up in Indianapolis as a kid, and, you know, of course, in those days, Indy 500 was everything. Um, uh, especially in Indianapolis, uh, and he's just very passionate about everything that the 500 represents. And uh, so uh, he had me on the show after I won in 1986, and uh, and uh, that's how we, you know, we, I just started to build a relationship with him. He swears I'm the only guy that ever bought him dinner, but it was well spent. Money I, well I, spent. I, I had money that's well right. spent if I did. So, um, uh, but in any event, he's. Uh, He's very knowledgeable. He's a gearhead, really, you know, about all kinds of, particularly Indy cars and Formula One. Uh, it. So it's fun having him on board because he really knows the sport. He knows, uh, he knows racing. He's a historian of it. He really appreciates where racing's been and where it is today. And he keeps us laughing, if nothing else.